So I think Ariel is a, an incredibly unique startup because uh, I think on the one side, the people and the team are formidable and they have a very clear vision of the future, but uh, they're also cutting through the complexity and the noise. Everyone's talking about metaverse and NFTs and AR, and they're coming up with uh, real use cases that brands can benefit from today in making their marketing mix more modern and bringing it into the future in a concrete way, right? So zero noise on that. The very first reason is the uh, Mattia and his team. Um, uh, I mean, it, it was love at the, at the first sight. Uh, I love the way, uh, the way they approach people. I love their vision. And um, there, was, there wasn't pretty much to think about the business when I met them uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning. So the people were actually the key. Uh, second point is that I, I really wanted to focus on, on something that was really scalable. Uh, I come from an experience that was not scalable at all in terms of business, so I wanted to be part of something that was where scalability was a key factor. Um, and I would say that the third point is that the international ambition is something that I love to be part of. Uh, again, my previous experience was a pretty much local um, Italian national experience, um, and this is an international one and I, I love the idea to be part of it. So I decided to invest in Ariel for three main reasons. The first one is the team. The fact that I have them in Calabiana, so in one of the places in Talent Garden, it's very easy for me to understand the level of the, the quality level of the team, how much they interact together and how this team can really change the quality and effect on the, on the quality of the platform. The second one is the market, because I think the, in general the AR market and the product itself is very well done and it might be a game changer in the market itself. And the third one is the business model, which I have the chance to support uh, with Matti and the rest of the team uh, during the last uh, few months. Uh, and I think it's a very smart business model that might change a bit uh, the way agencies uh, and customers interact with AR solutions. ha deciso di investire in Arial, siamo, siamo una realtà svizzera che ci siamo sviluppati e, e vogliamo insomma credere nelle, nelle realtà italiane per farle crescere. Noi siamo imprenditori ma siamo anche investitori, quindi il valore aggiunto che portiamo è quello di stare di fianco alla, ai ragazzi, fargli del mentoring e introdurre soprattutto dei clienti potenziali per il, loro, per il loro sviluppo. Quindi è questa un po' la mission che ci diamo sul progetto sia di Arial ma che anche su altri progetti che stiamo seguendo in questi momenti. The first reason for why I invested in Ariel was uh, the founders. I mean, uh, the founder team was a very strong team and this is, was my first uh, uh, choice for why I decided to, to invest in, in Ariel. And uh, the second one was the traction that uh, Ariel showed in the first year and this is, was a, a really incredible success in a short time. And uh, the last was the, the sector because Ariel is a really uh, um, engaged in a very innovative sector that is the ER technologies and is going to uh, growing up very fast in the next year. Ariel è una bella realtà che ho avuto la fortuna di conoscere e, e come realtà nostra del mondo della comunicazione abbiamo visto in Ariel una grande opportunità di semplicità nell'approccio alla realtà aumentata. La semplicità è una caratteristica importante perché l'implementazione è molto più semplice. Le agenzie cercano soluzioni innovative ma vogliono anche avere la capacità di farlo rapidamente per essere competitive e veloci sul mercato. Le soluzioni che ha le mette a disposizione sono estremamente interessanti ma non vi nascondo che il team che ha a disposizione Mattia Salvi è un team di alto livello e lui per prima è una persona che ha un valore. Quindi io come sempre nelle realtà con cui voglio collaborare vedo sia l'opportunità della qualità del servizio che viene fornito, ma anche la qualità delle persone che si occupano di fornirlo.